the chase down block you have, just kind of, I guess, take us back through it and what's kind of going through your mind in that play and, and how much, how meaningful do you think it was? In that? Uh, I feel like it was real meaningful, of course. Uh, because in that play, uh, you know, I saw saw them get the steal or whatnot, and uh, you know, I helped him out, and you know, we're we 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 preach uh, going vertical every day in practice, so just stuck to the, stuck to the script, and you know, went vertical, and I felt like I could block the shot, and I did. What, what did you guys do different defensively in the second half compared to the first? Half? Just just corralled and uh, guarded the shot out the ball. Honestly, I mean, excuse my language, but if we got up in the ball and you know, changed the motive and. You know, we changed the narrative for the other team the second half because the first half it was just it was a, it, like like Todd, Todd said uh, we let the team get too comfortable. You know, we gotta stop doing that, and especially when, when they come into our house. But you know, uh, we talked about it. And me and the guys talked about it at halftime and what we need to fix and adjust. And we went out in the second half and we took care of business. What was that mindset to, to flip the script there in the second half? Win anyways. That's that's what we preach. Uh, whether it's one point. Whether it's by two points, three points, go out there and win the game. So uh, just go out there, uh, and uh, you know Todd and Ingram had told me to go out there and get a steal and get the guys going or get make a uh, tough uh, game-winning play. And I made a couple. How how much? I mean, Kent State is your next game. You know, you big win at Ohio. You win tonight in such exciting fashion. I mean, do you feel like you can get momentum from those types of games? Yeah, hundred percent. But uh, I feel like more importantly, we got to stay humble. You know, uh, not get too cocky, not look, not, not look forward to uh, other games. You know, uh, just take one game at a time, and you know, just just continue to win and get better each day in practice. What was it like in the locker room? Um, very vocal, and loud, um, especially with Raw. I kind of encouraged the guys. You know, it wasn't everybody just pointing fingers. It was more togetherness and um, positive talk as well. You know, when you go in halftime down, what, 11, maybe, waves down, uh, getting punched in the face, you know, you're looking like, bro, it's not us. You know, but a couple of these games, the majority of our games, we're getting punched in the face. And we try to figure out a way to crawl back. We're just preaching that we know who we are. We're capable of coming out in the beginning and getting stops and um, had no energy. So we're just preaching energy. Let's play defense. And I feel like uh, with Ra coming out the gates in the second half, turning us up, uh, led to a big time win. How much do you guys feel about him? Um, one hundred and fifty thousand percent. You know he's our guy. So when he gets us going, you know he's talking, he's vocal like he is every day. Um, it's a boost, it's a plus to have somebody who's going to be vocal, whether he has in a good game, whether he's not having a good game, whether he's scoring, whether he's not scoring. He's going to do the right thing, and we. Uh, that's why we love him. What's the next step for this team? You know, six and six entering the new year. Uh, you had said that you were. Optimistic that you think you're going to surprise some teams who might think, hey, we had to revamp the roster and a lot of young players. But what's the next step from your perspective on what this team has to do to take that next step to the next level? Uh, day by day. You know, we're not going to look towards uh, whenever we play next or whoever we play, we're going to come back ready tomorrow for whatever it takes, film, rehab, you know, getting off our feet. And we look forward to getting back in the gym, practicing, getting shots up, and coming back to playing defense and figure out who Toledo basketball is, and you know, figure out a way to continue to get closer in the new season for us. I know we're 2-0, but we can't get big-headed because we won two games, but uh, figure out a way to stay even kill and actually just take it up from here. Having said that, how satisfying, how beneficial is a game like this where you're down 11 and a half and you find that way to win? Uh, it shows a lot about our team. You know, I've said this probably multiple times, how it shows how bad we are and then come back and shows how good we are. And honestly, like, you know, we, I said it before also, you know, shock a lot of teams, but you know, we're good enough. You know, we have a lot of pieces. We believe in each other on the staff and you know, come out, we're going to compete every day. So. You had a great defensive second half against Northern Ohio, too, earlier this year, similar to today. What, what do you have to do to consistently do it for 40 minutes? <sighs> we're still trying to figure that out. You know, but we know we got it in us. It's just that we got to go out there and do it. You know, every once in a while, we're going to keep talking about it. We just got to figure out how to just go out there and guard. I mean, every game is not going to be perfect, but we can't come out in the first half every game and get punched in the face. And then, like Vermont, get punched in the face. And it was hard to find the energy to, you know, keep trying to crawl back. So we had to figure out a way to punch them in the face, wherever we come, and stay on their throats and keep playing hard and aggressive for us to, because we're playing for, you know, we're going for four, four in a row. 
So we're playing for something bigger than most teams in the conference, you know, and we're going playing for, you know, shot to rewrite history and go down to the tournament. You know, we haven't done it in so long. So we got to figure out a way to get it done, you know, win anyway. Well, I, I said this to, uh, to Travis Steele after the game. I'm not, I'm not sure that we really deserve to win this game. I thought they all played us, uh, especially in the first half, but I got to give our guys credit for hanging together, making plays at winning time. Our second half field goal percentage defense was 37%. I told them before the game that if we held them to nine or less threes, we're going to win. Uh, they got nine. They had six at halftime. Uh, they only made three in the second half. And they're a really good three-point shooting team. And we got spread out in the first half. And, you know, I think we, we, we gave them, we let them be comfortable. And it hurt our defensive confidence. Uh, you can have all offensive confidence and defensive confidence. I just don't think we, we played with that, that grit in the first half like we need to. But uh, it's a league grind out win and 2-0. Uh, Miami was five of the last 20. I think they had five turnovers in that stretch too. Just how encouraging was the defense uh, we, in the we, second half? We, we finally had some ball pressure. You know, Sonny played so well against Ohio defensively, and tonight he was three feet off guys. Uh, you know, and I think I think the second half ball pressure, and Raheem got in some passing lanes, we got some steals, and that fueled our fire and gave us some, some our swagger back a little bit. Uh, but uh, you know, hey, that, that's a that's a heck of a win when you when you can win and not play well in our league. But uh, yeah, I think that was big. You know, Tyler had some huge plays defensively, got to, got out in transition, got to the basket. But uh, yeah, I thought Tyler and Raheem were, were were by far the guys that got us going the most. Raheem at the chase down block, huge at, at the steal late. Just those types of plays. Obviously, they're big in the grand scheme of things, but also just the, the energy and that stuff that provides you, how much does that matter? It, you know, we had a great crowd for not having students here to have, you know, 4,500. And and we, we didn't give them enough reason to get behind us. And then we did in the second half and they got behind us. <coughs> how beneficial was it, Todd, to have multiple players you could count on for a late basket? Yeah, I mean, I, that, that's our team though. We don't, we don't have just one guy. And, I just, you know, I just, in the second half, we moved the ball better. First half, it was four guys stand and let's watch Dante dribble. That's what it was. That's got to improve. That's got to improve. Start, starting two and a half, you know, winning at Ohio, winning in the fashion you want tonight, how much does that matter? It matters, I mean, you got to win home games, you know, and, and, and we played well against Miami for a long time, so we got to win home games.